this room can uh, also to the left, we will find the water fountain. If you decide to leave before the program is over, which, you do, which we hope you don't, uh, and you would kiss the elevator and go down to number two, or if you go down in the further, you'll be in the basement. So we want to make sure that you get to get back safely. Honor. What is honor? We show respect, admiration, recognition. Today we honor a giant who we all stand on her shoulders. All of us, everybody in this room, we stand on this giant's shoulder. As I think about Baba Higgins, I think about Mary McLeod McCoon. They was all for everyone, human rights, civil rights, you name it. They was making, we want to make sure that everyone had an equal opportunity. And that's what this giant did in this community. How did we get here? Yeah. Several years ago, as I returned from Vietnam, I had an opportunity to talk to my brother-in-law, Robin Wright. Some of you, many of you know Robin Wright. And he and I had a conversation about what was going on in, in the various communities. Throughout my career, I went to work in communities, make a contribution to communities that I lived in, from Maine to California. As I talked to Robin Wright, he told me about a lady who worked with him in the basement of his church, Mount Carmel. This lady, he said, worked with him as far as the NAACP and other organizations, two numbers to name. He talked about how much she was involved and how people respected her. He talked about how kind she was. He also mentioned the fact that she called everybody baby. Am I correct? Yeah. That must have been Bob Higgins, am I correct? So that's why we're here today. I started looking at all the accomplishments of Bob Higgins, and I had an opportunity to receive some information after traveling over here back and forth to the Jerusalem Women's Convention uh, the scholarship activities that's held each year here. And as I would listen to uh, the uh, candidates, if you will, there was information in there that I did not know, and, and a lot of people I did, did not know about my behaviors. So I got interested. I started doing research. I called the library here, uh, and they came up with an article from me dated back in 1993. And I looked at that article, and I says, you know, there's another scholarship uh, in the name of Bob Higgins that probably people didn't know about. That was through the housing authority. So from then, they you know, we started doing research, talking to USF. UF, we talked to Santa Fe, we talked to everyone that we could talk with in order to get more information on Bob Higgins. And we were fortunate enough to receive information, and you're going to meet some of those individuals to, to, uh, this afternoon that helped us put this together, that provided some of the information. So we want to call this today Bob Higgins Day. We would like to call every day Bob Higgins Day. And with that, I would like to turn it over to our facilitator for this afternoon, uh, the former commissioner, Sherry Henry.
<laughs> As I said, I'm Cyril Henry on behalf of the family of Barbara L. Higgins. I want to welcome you to remembering the legacy of Barbara L. Higgins. The family has put together a program that we hope that you will enjoy. Most of all, I do want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy weekend schedule to help us celebrate the legacy of someone who was dearly beloved, not only by the family, but by the community in which she lived. As some of you might know, and I will say this, auntie, because that's what we call her, touched the lives of men in the city of Gainesville, Lawrenceville County, and beyond. Her life was centered on her faith, her community, but most of all, her family. She was a daughter, sister, mother, aunt, grandmother, and great-grandmother, and had an overall love for people. If you met Auntie, you, be, you quickly became a, hey, baby, <laughs> son or daughter, no matter what race, creed, or color. And speaking of family, to get things started, what I like to do is read a passage about family. And this passage was actually written by uh, our granddaughter when she was eight years old. Because in the Higgins, Henry, White families, we were brought up to understand what family means. And our granddaughter wrote this. What does family mean? What does family mean to me? Well, I will tell you, family means that they will stick up for you. Also, family means that they will help you along the way in life. Family can be there for you if you need money for college. Thank God for that, right? Family can also mean that they have so much love for you in the world and they will help you and guide you along the way. Family will always be in your life. Even if someone dies, I know you will cry, but by the end of the day, you will still have family to lean on forever. If you have kids, then they will figure out how you had to go through the same thing, written by Nakia Imani Henry. So let us celebrate the legacy of Barbara L. Higgins. And with that, we will have Pastor Adrian S. Taylor of Spring Hill Church to come up with the invitation. God, our Creator, we are grateful for food that we will, we will remember the hungry. We are grateful for health, so we will remember the sick. We are grateful for friends, so we will remember the friends. We are grateful for the life of the community served. For one that has committed herself to giving beyond her means, giving her time, giving her compassion, or giving her skills. May these remembrances inspire us to the service that your gifts have given us. May we also be used, not for our own benefit, but may we all be used for the benefit of others. We pray our Father. You bless these moments that we share together. Bless the sweet memory of our beloved sister, Barbara Higgins. If it's not too much trouble, Lord, anybody but Tom Brady. Amen. Okay. Now, one thing that you all should know about the family of Barbara Higgins is that we know Frank. Just as she loved people, we love people. And at this moment 
in this hour, you are family. Sure, we have, we have a few dignitaries here, but we want them to sit back and relax too. Because you're not having a campaign for votes or anything. This is your thing. Just sit back and relax, all right? So join into the celebration, right? Because it is what? A celebration of the legacy of Barbara L. Higgins. And with that, what I would like to do is introduce state, county, and city officials who will come up to bring greetings as well as proclamations. First, we will have uh, State Representative Clovis Watson, Jr., followed by County Commissioner Mary Helen Wheeler. And following her, we will have City Commissioner of District 1, Gigi Sevens. And that all. Please come. Believed in. 
is to give people the opportunity who have made mistakes in their young lives to have an opportunity to have an equal footing, to get licensing and job opportunities and to vote. And we cannot take away that right because of something that they did, badly or silly so, when they were young, and give them a life sentence. If you have not committed a life crime, you should not be given a life sentence. And if you cannot have your rights to vote for your life, you have a life sentence. That is something we can't do. That is some of the hard work that I try to do for the legacy of Robert Hayden. And for you young people, I fight so hard to continue that legacy so that you all would have a wonderful opportunity. And I try to sacrifice in the manner which I can so that you all would have a steward to follow so that you will continue to sacrifice as your grandmother your aunt, or whomever she may be to you as a family member, or just someone you looked up to, as I did. Thank you all for having me, and I'm honored to be here for this wonderful occasion. And Lord, I would like to present you with the fight of the proclamation. Uh, I'm not reading because there will be several people who will read the proclamation. We have similar information and not the same, but I will be giving the same uh, proclamation from the state of Florida with the state seal and my signature as your representative of District 20. Thank you so much. Today we celebrate the life and legacy. 
legacy of Mrs. Barbara L. Higgins for her many accomplishments and contributions to Alachua County. Now, therefore, through the authority vested in me by the Board of County Commissioners of Alachua County, Florida, I do hereby proclaim February the 2nd, 2019, is Barbara L. Higgins Day in Alachua County, Florida, duly proclaimed the second day of February, A.D. 2019, signed by the Board of County Commissioners of Alachua County, Florida Chair, Charles Chuck Chestnut IV, attested to by J.K. Jess Irby, Esquire. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.